Hi, I'm Dr. David Bilstrom. I'm the medical director of the International Autoimmune Institute at Bingham Memorial Hospital. Our next installment is going to talk more about how people end up getting the autoimmune diseases. This is an area that we really excel in and that basically nobody else is really looking at a great deal. And this is the adverse childhood events. So there's certain things that can happen when a person is a child or a teenager that can really drive chronic disease later on in life and specifically the autoimmune diseases. These adverse childhood events include divorce, separation, substance abuse, incarceration, death of a close family member, physical, verbal, sexual abuse, or trauma. What studies have shown is that when these events occur, they change the physiology of the body in ways that are only really seen decades later. And the biggest one of all is the childhood sexual abuse. So what they see is that people that are victims of childhood sexual abuse have over a 50% chance of developing an autoimmune disease as an adult. In the International Autoimmune Institute, everybody that comes to see us has to see our counselor at least once. Now there are times when people are rock solid, not a lot going on, one time is all they need but oftentimes more than one visit is needed. We've already touched on uh, toxicity in previous installments and we're going to talk more about that at, at a later date. But what I had said before about the toxic world we live in, heavy metals such as lead, mercury, cadmium, those kind of things, if you have a bunch of lead and mercury in your system, those things are so toxic, you've got to get rid of them. You're never going to heal if you have those in you. The same thing with these adverse childhood events. If there's toxic emotions, toxic memories inside, they're just as bad as a bunch of mercury and lead. They're just as toxic. And like those toxic metals, we gotta get these toxic emotions, toxic memories out, otherwise a person's never gonna be able to heal. In parting, I'd just like to say, please remember, your body is always ready to heal, it just needs to be given a chance. Bingham Memorial Hospital. Experience Bingham.